Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Deanna. You're watching Orky D and this video is featuring Little Miss Maisie Moo today and I am going to show you my shade house, which I don't think I've shown you guys yet. Um, so just a disclaimer, it is a neglected shade house um, that I'm very, very thankful that I installed before this little bub was born. The orchids in here are generally doing very well and the ones that aren't started out not doing very well. So I haven't um, organized anything in this shade house yet. Um, the orchids that I thought were okay to come out have been transferred out here and um, we just turn on these sprinklers once a week. So basically that's all that's been done and um, I haven't even been visiting the orchids very often. Until now, uh, Maisie's probably just gotten to the age where she's a bit more settled and a bit more happy to be carried around and stuff. But even so, you know, she's just attached to me all the time. So I don't really have time to repot or really properly care for these orchids to the degree that I was before. I kind of feel like I need to organize this space and get all the orchids that can come out here from inside out here because the other thing is a lot of the orchids inside are on shelves that can be pulled down by Little Miss so um, they'll need to be moved as well. Um, once the weather has warmed up here a little bit and it is beginning to warm up. Um, I'm actually going to move the fowls out here too because I thought that with no real natural shade around here um, that the orchids may not do so well, the ones that um, aren't highlight, but actually they're all doing fantastically and I reckon, you know, if I keep the vandas up the top, maybe the higher light orchids on the top shelves, um, I might get hangers um, and put the fowls along the wall. Um, so I do need to buy some more trays, I need to buy some more hangers um, and hopefully once that's all done um, I can start organizing and moving things out but I mean it's still going to be a pretty slow process I reckon. Anyway let me walk around and show you what's going on in here. While we were moving um, and while these orchids have been here I lost a lot of tags because if you remember there was a period where a lot of the orchids were at my mum's house while we were moving so um, a lot of the tags have been either misplaced or they've kind of been mixed up and put in the wrong pots so there's some first time bloomers here especially that um, I, I have just lost the tags for or um, they spent so much time outside that they're completely faded but I'll just go around and pretty much show you the buds and blooms that are in here. So let's start up here with this one. We've got a few buds coming out here and a few blooms that have opened. This is Dendrobium Black Mountain Cross with Camille's Creation. This is an eBay purchase from years ago. It did flower last year, um, not very many flowers last year and it was a lot darker last year because it was actually kept on my upstairs landing. They've gone a little bit lighter and a little bit pinker in this bright light. We've got, oops, sorry, I've got some sunnies. Um, quite a few buds here. Maisie, she's <laughs> we've got one, two, three, four, five bloom spikes on that one. And you can see we've got some really, really pretty Oncidium blooms here. We've got some down there as well. This is my Oncidium Sweet Sugar gorgeous dancing lady look at the size of these frills down here this year and the actual size of the bloom is really big this year as well so it looks pretty happy out here down here we've got one of my oncidium wildcats in bloom I had to dig it out from behind that metal grating out there a lot of these spikes do actually tend to want to grow out towards the shade netting and I just noticed that these spikes down here on my Dendrobium Lindley. This one is quite pop bound as you can see. But I've got quite a few nice looking spikes on that. And I've got another with a few spikes coming off a keiki up here. This one is Dendrobium White Surprise Dragon. And I'll see if I can pull it out here. It's a pretty little bloom there. 
Dendrobium berry odor is down here and it is just a keiki producing machine and all the keikis are producing blooms. You can see these pretty little honey scented blooms down here. And if we come across, we've got some <coughs> short interlude here. Maisie, our rising star, apparently likes to hold on to all the orchids as we walk past and gets frustrated when I make her let go. Now we'll move over here where this gorgeous, gorgeous scent is like, it's just radiating through the shade house. But this is a Vanda Tessellata crossed with a Mimi Palma and it's just opening up and it smells so wonderful. Just got these two flowers open here. Got another spike coming around the other way if you can see that. And up here we've got Iwanagara apple blossom. Probably not in the best spot. You can see that it's probably a little bit too much light for this one up on this top shelf. But it's got two glorious looking spikes coming out and these have just opened in the last couple of days. Next to my apple blossom is this gorgeous epidendrum, my favourite epidendrum, which has just been blooming and blooming and blooming. I think this is really interesting how these bloom spikes kind of branch. So obviously like these are old bloom spikes down here from last year, um, but some of them have actually got another spike coming out of them because well that's how little maintenance I did in the whole year leading up to this video. I haven't even cut any of the flower spikes this year. Um, the floor is littered in leaves so it does need a big clean up in here, it needs a reshuffle, it needs oh gosh it needs everything. But anyway um, I finally gotten around to trying to make a video so that's something I suppose. Now what have been going well are my Vanders. They are doing spectacularly out here and they have all been in bloom at some stage over the last year. This one here, the tag is completely faded I'm pretty sure. Unless it's on, yep, it's completely faded. Amazing. And we've got three amazing, amazing looking spikes out here. Um, the only Vanda that isn't doing well, but it was already losing leaves back um, at my other house, is this one. I think it's dying. Gosh, it might be Fusarium, I reckon. That just slowly, progressively lost all its leaves and it's even eating into that leaf there now. So yeah, there is some sort of dirty rot going on there and um, I'm gonna chuck that one out. Now up here, we have got this gorgeous first time bloomer. Well, first time bloomer for me. I have had this orchid for a very long time, about four years, I'm gonna say. I got it out at Fame Orchids a really long time ago. Um, and it's one of those dendrobiums that just never, never did well for me. You can see how old that pot is, it's falling apart. And um, it actually went out with the cymbidiums. So it was living out there, exposed to everything at my last house with the cymbidiums. I put it in the shade house and look, look at those gorgeous blooms and look how big these buds are. Amazing and it's really, really pretty. I don't even know if this camera can do it justice because it's like this gorgeous yellowy color. It's got this little pink edging. Look at it, it is pretty. Up here, we've got a pretty easy bloomer. She's been blooming, I think I got her two years ago, and she's been blooming for me since. This is Makara Chow Praia Sunset. Really gorgeous one there. Now, as much as I'd like to get in there for you, I can't quite duck down, but there is one of my Rinka Stylus Gigantias in blue. I think this one is Spots. Got a gorgeous bloom there. Now, down here, we've got a couple of Ronan Tharas. This one is a monocheek cross, and we've got a little spike there. I'll we'll try and. <coughs> Sorry, Maisie. This is Renanthara Amayani, monocheek cross with Citrina. That one's got a spike coming out. I don't know if you can see it. See that spike there? Sorry, Maisie. Okay. 
and I really, really wanted to show you guys this one. But this one is Renanthera Bella. Oh, Maisie. Hey, don't cry. Look, so pretty. Look how pretty that is. The color on this is just absolutely spectacular. Yes, I know, Maisie. It is, isn't it? Pretty, just like you. Well, we're out of the carrier and on the ground. She's just started to get on all fours. Look at her trying to balance. She can't quite crawl yet. She just rocks on all fours. Anyway, let's try and quickly finish filming while she's there and happy. Floor time was a fail. So I just had to carry Maisie. Mm -hmm. Luckily, we don't have too much more to go. So the epidendrums are doing amazingly. We've got all these flower spikes coming up. This one's in bloom. In fact, that's an old flower spike. I don't know if that ever stopped blooming. We've got more coming through the holes there. And back here, we have got Arinka Star with Gigantia Cross. This is Destiny Dixon. Uh, I think it's Rhinconopsis, maybe? Not sure. We've got this gorgeous one in bloom here. She smells beautiful. I think this is Dendrobium urealis. And last of all, down here we've got this Brassavola cross. I think it's yellow bird. I only have one hand so I can't reach the tag. But isn't she gorgeous? I can't detect a fragrance on it. But I do believe the Brassavola is a fragrant at night, so I'm not, not sure. I haven't actually come out here at night, so I guess that's on the to-do list. But there's no lights out here currently, so sorry, Macy's got her hand in my mouth. Well, everyone, thank you for joining Maisie and I on this little tour of the Shade House. Say bye-bye, Maisie. Well, I think she did pretty well to last this long. Anyway, guys. <laughs> Anyway guys, I hope you guys are having a fantastic 2021 and happy growing. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye.